but Robert Altman was famous for his one-liners. I remember standing on a corner with him in New York when we used to tour America every other year for three months. And we started at the, at the Lincoln Center at the Met there, and we do six weeks there. And I remember standing with Helpman on a corner once, and you only had the furs and the regalia, you know, very grand. And this Irish cop came along and said, move along, fairy. <laughs> and he turned round and with an imaginary wand went, disappear. <laughs> So I had a great training, I tell you, yes. But it was the height of the 60s when you, you were 17, you'd just got your job in the, the main ballet company, yep. swinging 60s, you yep. must have had a ball. Yes, we did. I mean, I loved it all. And, uh, and in those days, you know, gay was still illegal. Um, so you had to watch your step. And a lot of, and a lot of um, you know, people ridiculed us, obviously. But, you know, but funny enough, um, it would bring people together from all walks of life. And that's how I met David Hockney. And I'm hanging in the tape, by the way. Hey, you know, I've <laughs> yes. just been put on the wall. How long I can stay there, I don't know. But, uh, yes, we've been put on the wall in the tape. And, uh, um, you know, you'd meet all different ways of life. You'd meet pop stars who were interested in dance. I mean, Freddie Mercury. All these people would go to the gay restaurant in the middle of London because there'd only be one of everything in those days. And it brought people together, funnily enough. And then the King's Road. If you weren't walking down the King's Road and something new every Saturday, nobody would speak to you, basically. Well, you've got some lovely photographs on your website of you uh -huh. with all the Carnaby gear, oh, yeah. and, you know, the hats and yeah. the Aussie Clark shirts and all yeah. I was very lucky to have all that and become a very good friend of David Hockney, who introduced me to all those people. But well, it, you only got to know him because you fancied his boyfriend. That's not well, really the basis it. of a friendship, is it? No, no, but it's true, yes. Well, he had... <laughs> Peter Schlesinger, who was gorgeous. Yes, yes, he's brilliant. He's just come out with another book of photographs, very brilliant photographs from the 60s. It's wonderful. His first one was called Checkered Past. And these photographs are phenomenal. But we'd, we'd mix with all the models as well who did the Aussie Clark shows. And, you know, it, we, we, we all knew each other. Everybody went to San Lorenzo's if you had money, you know, in Beach and Place. And uh, there were very few places one could go. But now, of course, you've got Hampstead Village has its own restaurants. You don't have to travel to the centre of London anymore.